What's going on, everybody? So we're back here, and today we should be able to get our Bailey copy. Um, we're running a little tight, but I knew that we had the Ancient Altar ending soon. I didn't want to spend any money, guys. Um, you can see here, I still have the recharge bag, so I was going out and grinding as many as I possibly could. We had the Galactic Bounty. I couldn't quite get the 500 Soul Potions in order for me to get the 15 Limited Summons, but I did do some Guild Boss and things like that to get me some summons. And we are currently at 126 and the ancient altar ended today. We're gonna go ahead and collect what we got from here. And uh, that should be totally, totally enough for us to go ahead and cash in on um, you know, all the summons. You can see here, we get quite a few from those and we should have the hell ones coming in. Very, very nice. So that should be enough. If not, I might have to run some of the ancient altar here. Uh, in kind of the intermission. Let me just see if I picked up any insane gear pieces here. We got an attack, crit rate. I guess I could save um, that one. HP, damage reduction. It's actually a decent Herald one. Defense, pretty poor substats. HP, I always keep HP abundant pieces just in case. Um, attack percentage, kind of mediocre. Damage reduction, crit rate, that's okay. Um, actually, I, I locked that piece, but I wasn't paying attention to the main stat, which is something that you kind of have to do. <laughs> so that, that might have been a little bit of a mistake, um, but that's no big deal. I'll just go ahead and go through that piece a little bit later on. Ooh, that one's a good one. Crit rate, crit damage, and, and damage reduction on a gluttony piece. Very, very nice. Um, Herald. Okay, Herald pants. Very nice. And I'm just going to scroll down here because we did have that abundant helmet I believe it was um where is that helmet yeah so this one is the one I love right yeah it's the base HP yeah so we don't need that one that one's trash <laughs> um cool so we got a bunch of resources here and let me just see our summon total we have 61 limited and we got 113 advanced which is perfect um we're gonna go ahead and cash in on the limiteds first and then the advanced and then i'm gonna save the rest of the advanced later on reason do being is that we are going to get the double chips we need 134 summons so um we're just gonna go right into it the question is do i want to go for daniel or do i want to go for azina my daniel's currently immortal so i am actually going to go for azina um because daniel can only get very marginal improvements now so it's not like a huge, huge requirement for, uh, for me to go ahead and cash in on, on that. So I'm not too worried about that. Instead, I'd much rather go for Azina, especially since I can pair, uh, pair her with Emma. And if I get a Rakana or a couple copies of Rakana, I'd be totally happy. So let's dive in, guys. First 10 pop here. We only have 67, so there is not a super high chance that I'll pick up a Legendary here or a, a Triple S here. So my expectations aren't super high, um, but we are starting out with an elite here. We'll see. Starting off with a boar. All right. Hopefully, if you guys saw my previous video, I would have talked about the trend, how you get the same elite over and over again in every single summon session, it feels like, um, when you're doing the summoning. Like when you get a boar, you're going to get a boar every single time when you do these summon sessions. That's at least my experience. I don't think I've actually gotten one copy of each of the two when I've done a summon session. Whenever I get an elite, I get the same elite over and over again. Obviously, it's tinfoil hat type conspiracy theory, but it's happened to me every time. So if it's happened to me every time, then, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to me this time. Um, already halfway through. If we happen to get another Serena copy, by the way, from our advanced summons, I'd be very happy about that. That'd bring us up to Immortal 2. So I'd really, really like that. That would help us in Ancient Altar. Um, other than that, you know... I already have Fulvia at Immortal. Who else would I want to bring up to Immortal? Maybe Omar? So maybe I should start putting Omar in the wish list here. There's going to be the second elite. We did get double rare attacks. There are double elite attack. Or, uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> That's exciting, guys. And a Xena copy. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. But we did get one. I'm very happy about this one, actually. She's someone that I'd really like to level up, uh, specifically for the fact that um, she she's super, super good. And uh, I would really like her to, to pair with Emma. I think that's going to be a very powerful combo. And a Rakana. So look at that. We're breaking the streak. We're breaking the streak. We didn't get a boar again. So we got a, a Xena and a Rakana. That is 
absolutely amazing. I'm very happy about that. That's a really nice 10 pull right there. We're gonna keep going though. I mean, we're on a double chip, so there's no reason for us to stop. This is gonna be about the best value we can get from these limited summons in the entire game. So let's keep going. Another rare or another blue tax. Hopefully we don't end on a blue tax. Let's go ahead and do one last 10 pull. Come on, give us a, a final elite to end off this one. Oh, I'm happy guys, to be honest. I did not expect an Azina. I expected to get like one copy of Rakana and that was my goal. And we ended up getting an Azina copy plus a Rakana copy. So overall, very, very happy with what we ended up getting. Um, let me just do the one last 10 or one last single pull. All right, ending it on a blue. No problem, no problem. Um, let's go ahead and check out how many summons we actually need. So we need 73. We need 73. So let's go ahead and just do three and then we'll do seven temples. So let's go ahead and hop over to the advanced summons. We'll do three. And uh, oops. it's uh, all these animations. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, so no wishlist character there. I probably should have updated that before I did those three, but it is what it is. So we have Sorietta, we have Falvia, we have Taylor. I'm gonna keep Taylor in there. I'm probably gonna take out Sorietta. Um, maybe we go for Kane here. Maybe maybe that's something we go for. I'm actually not quite sure who we go for. I'm gonna go for Kane. That's that'll be interesting. Oh, we're definitely gonna do Hercules. Uh, we're definitely gonna do. Oh, we have Immortal Rakana. Mm -hmm. I guess I could put Bot Mark 2 in here as well. Because Bot Mark 2 is someone that I really like to use. I figure, okay, we could do the summoners, but uh, I, I wanted to do the three most used characters and then work on a couple of the characters that I don't really have. And so I feel like, you know, putting Omar and Hercules in there are perfect options. But today I'd really like to have a Serena copy or, you know, more Taylors. Those are, Serena's my number one because I already have one. So if I get another one, there's Hercules though, not bad. Uh, if I get another Serena copy, I can actually get her to Immortal 2, I believe, which would be pretty massive for us. Pretty massive, so love to do that if I can. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but uh, obviously that's what we're here for, right? Another thing I have to think about is when I'm gonna use these gene hybrids. I've been really interested in pushing Skewer to Hattie. And so if I'm doing that, then uh, it's gonna be hard to get you no know, Bailey upgraded, but I really want to use Bailey. But also, Azina, uh, Mazrani, I have so many good triple S's to go for that it's hard to determine which one uh, I should use the gene hybrid on. Another Taylor, not bad. Uh, that's definitely something that uh, I'm perfectly okay with. Let's keep going. We should be at um, 40 summons when we end this summon session. So I'm gonna probably swap out Taylor from the wishlist once I get to Immortal 4, or at least Immortal, probably maybe Immortal 3, maybe. We'll see. I, I, I like to focus up on, you know, that specific suite of characters because, you know, you can only put five people in a team. So if you're not running with your best five, then you're just overall weaker in a lot of scenarios. And so boosting up those five is of utmost priority. And then of course, you know, we have the guild technology, the class technology, which uh, which I'd much, much rather just focus in on the hunters for like Emma, um, Taylor, uh, uh, Bot Mark II, things like that. Another elite here, let's see what we get. I love a Serena copy. Another Taylor copy wouldn't be that bad. I believe that would give me a mortal three. So another Taylor copy wouldn't be bad. Omar, that's who we were looking for outside. You know, he's on the wish list, so totally totally fine i think that'll be the last one let me just see i think we have 10 one more 10 pull or two more temples here let me just check real quick before i start using a bunch of advanced summons yeah so two more the reason why i'm gonna go ahead and save it is because i don't believe i will be able to reach um 900 even though 900 actually wouldn't be a bad thing to go for because we would get the gene hybrid hmm Maybe sub. I, I I don't think I'll be able to get that many summons uh, that quickly. I, I would need to get 160 summons. I don't think that's doable at all. Let's see here, another elite. Nope, just another blue tax. Come on, come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Another elite. Okay, we're gonna end on another elite. Again, Serena is the one I want the most. Serena is definitely the one I want the most. Taylor again would be a nice one to do. That would be a mortal three. Taylor it is. I'm very happy with that. So that is probably gonna be a mortal three. I'll have to check here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cash in on that. 
And then let's go ahead and boom, there's our Immortal 3. That's going to give us another 5, 4k attack, um, which is pretty nice. Pakana is going to go up to Immortal. Check that out. Very, very nice. That's our first Immortal Assassin. And Hercules is even going to get a little bit of a bump here. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have any food here. I have to go ahead and, and, and feed some people into some people, get to Terran food. But more importantly than that, guys, here we go. Bailey Hudson acquired. So, so excited for that. Um, I think we have to go into the gallery to see. Yeah, check this out. Woo, that's so hype. That's so hype. Let me just see here. Let me check out the heroes. Scroll down. There he is, guys. That is exciting. That is very, very exciting. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use him yet. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure where I would use him besides campaign, but in order to use him in campaign, I feel like I would really need to level him up. You guys can see here in the limited summons, I've actually been, I actually purchased one copy of Skewer and three copies of Daniel to finish off Immortalized Daniel, Daniel and then one copy of Skewer. The reason I did that is because there's no way I'm going to be able to buy enough gene hybrids to ever use my limited chips here. So there's no reason not to pick up a couple copies of characters. And so going forward, I think the best way to go about this is to use my my chips and my gene hybrids on Bailey because he's not available in the short store as far as I've seen. Let me just check here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, yeah, he's not here. He's not here. So in that case, I'm actually just going to pick up Oh, I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. I wanted to pick up two copies of Skewer. Yeah, so two copies, bring them to an immortal level. They're actually very, very impressive when you reach that level of uh, power on them. And I really want them for um, for my Ancient Altar pushing. So that's going to be a big deal. Super excited about that. Check this out. That's going to be an immortal Skewer. How much HP are we increasing? I mean, check this out, guys. Look at these stats that we're getting on these characters. Um, that is so, so good. Super happy about that. We do have that one gene hybrid. Azina is going to get a bump as well. Check that out. Wow, that is just absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So that's going to be a Xena at epic level. Nothing too crazy. We still have a lot of Terran upgrades to do. For example, if I wanted to go ahead and upgrade Omar, which I have no idea where he even is. I guess we have to just quick evolve so we don't have all that fodder in our face. Let's just do that now if we scroll down and we wanted to upgrade omar we need food here we do have two copies of omar and yeah, we have two copies of omar which is perfect it's perfect uh we're gonna be able to upgrade him soon we also have uh, a bunch of copies of all these other characters here and the boars i mean look how many boars we have we have a mythic boar already we could definitely bring him up to immortal with just these boars here so so many i just need the fodder to be able to go ahead and crap these guys up right now it's it's kind of tough because i don't have the fodder regardless guys that's gonna be it i mean that's that's pulling bailey that's summoning for bailey and we have him in the bag so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did be sure to like the video sub the channel i uh i might do a bailey video going forward to see how if and where he might be affecting my account the most I believe he's going to affect the count the most in PvE, uh, in Storyline. That's my guess. Storyline is where he's going to be really amping up my team. And I think outside of that, he probably actually isn't that good, besides for maybe a lead campaign. So definitely, definitely um, something that I'll have to see, something I have to think about, because I don't need him for progression for dungeons anymore. So maybe Terra Dome, actually, you know, he could be a, dam a valuable damage asset. Definitely not regretting this at all, though. If you can get to 700, that's going to be the best way to go ahead and pick up your uh, Bailey Hudson. You're going to get extra rewards. You're going to get that free Triple S token at 500. So definitely recommend doing it. Hopefully you guys are getting there. I'll see you all tomorrow.